If somebody can walk away from your life, let them walk away. You shouldn't have to convince anybody to love you. If they can walk, let them go. If they leave you, it means they're not attached to your future. Some of you, you are taking too much time trying to convince people to love you that do not matter. Some of you are taking way too much time tolerating and trying to get people engaged that don't matter, that don't care, that are never ever going to help you get into your destiny. What if I told you that some of the rejection you have been facing in your life, it's because people are jealous of what's on your life. What if I told you that the rejection is simply an indication that you got favor on your life. God is getting ready to do something in your life. You just got to understand there's more to know. There's more to know. Move on. Straight up, move on. Forget them. They are lying and they are untrustworthy. So move on. <laughs> that person is not who you thought they were, right? They are not who you thought they were. The idea that this person was a trustworthy, faithful companion is not true. It is not true. That person does not exist. They didn't exist and they don't exist. It was in your head. It was in your head that this person was trustworthy and you, they, they were everything you wanted them to be and they were a faithful commandant. That is a lie. They are not that person. They have proved it. They have proved it by their actions. Be thankful that you were able to learn before you invested more into this person. Be, be, be thankful that you found out when you did that this person was a liar, that this person was unfaithful, was untrustworthy. Be, be thankful that you know it. If somebody wants to leave, let them leave. Your destiny is not tied to the people that walked away. Quit trying to talk people into staying. You don't have to convince anyone to love you, to call you, to come see you. You are a gift. You are a prize. You have something amazing to offer. If they don't want to be there, that's a sure sign they're not supposed to be there. One of your dreams may have died. That didn't stop God's plan. He has another dream. One relationship may not have worked out. If you'll kiss goodbye the old, God will show you the new. If someone is supposed to be in your life, you can't make them leave. And if someone leaves easily, they're not supposed to be there. But sometimes God will close the door. He'll move people out of your life. There are people and opportunities that were ordained for your past that are not ordained for your future. They were right for a season, but that season can come to an end. The key is how we handle the closed doors, how you handle the disappointments, how you handle the people that treated you wrong. It takes a lot of energy to think about the past, relive the hurts, wonder why it didn't work out. That person you lost, if they were supposed to be here, they would still be here. If somebody left you, I say it respectfully, you don't need them. If it didn't work out the way you had planned, it wasn't supposed to. God's ways are not our ways. Will you trust Him when it doesn't make sense? When God makes up for what you lost, it's not going to be less than, it's not going to be equal, it's going to be better. Just because it hasn't turned out the way you thought, doesn't mean you have to settle for second best. God has to come up with a plan B. God already knew what would happen. He knew every door that would close. He knew every person that would walk away. He knew how you'd spend time and energy, but a dream not come to pass. All that is getting you prepared for where God has taken you. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He knows how to not only open doors that no man can shut, He knows how to close doors that no man can open. Don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. And he saw he made moves you wouldn't make. 
And that's it. When a door gets shut, all you gotta do is walk up the hall. It's more doors. You, this is God. God is, he's everything, man. He got everything. You have to live your life in the expectation of wonderful things happening. God is a merciful God. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. He didn't set you up to fail. He only wants to progress his children. That's all he want to do. Even if you're wrong, he forgives us. Just keep moving, man. It ain't nothing. We all go through things in life that don't make sense. A friend walked out of a relationship. The company's downsizing. They don't need us anymore. Or we were being our best. Then the pandemic hit. Business went down. Children can't go to school. Dreams are put on hold. Sometimes it feels like we're going backwards. It's easy to live frustrated and think, God, why is this happening? But we're not going to understand everything that happens. God's ways are not our ways. He can see things that we can't see. And just because it's not fair doesn't mean that God is not in control. Your steps are being ordered by the Lord. If He allowed it to happen, He's going to bring good out of it. He promises all things work together for your good. On its own, it may not be good. It wasn't fair, you're uncomfortable, but when it all comes together, you're going to see how it works to your advantage. The difficulty, the delay, the betrayal was all instrumental in you reaching your destiny. But none of us like bad breaks, loss, delay, but without that difficulty, you couldn't become who you were created to be. It may look like a dead end, but really it's setting you up for promotion. That door closed so a bigger door could open. That person that left you, it was hurtful, but it wasn't just their choice. God moved them out of the way so he could bring someone better. But that struggle was difficult. You didn't do anything wrong, but you had opposition at work. Your child wouldn't do what's right. It wasn't fair, but what you couldn't see is it was growing you up, developing your character, getting you stronger, more confident, more determined. Without it, you wouldn't be prepared for the blessing, the increase, the new levels that are coming your way. And you may not understand what you're going through. You could live worried, discouraged. Try a new approach. God, I don't understand it, but I trust you. I know you're in control. You're working all things for my good. So I'm not going to live upset. I'm going to stay in peace knowing that you will get me to where I'm supposed to be.